Alright guys, we just got back from we think is the hacker's headquarters. We're not quite sure what it was. We found this laptop there and they, it was logged into other YouTubers' computers or their accounts. They were able to like hack into their accounts and our account. So we thought the best thing to do for us and for all of our friends is to take this laptop and try to figure out what's on there so we can take our lives back. And we took the computer because we didn't want them hacking the other YouTubers anymore. Alright, I think the best thing to do is just trying to find out what's on this laptop so we can figure out what's happening to all of our channels, my channel, chat's channel, all our friends' channels. All right, Chad, let's go to our pool table and see what's on this laptop yeah, here. Yeah, let's open this up. Wait a second. It's password protected here. It wasn't, it wasn't password protected when we logged in just a moment ago. Maybe because we set the alarm off, they knew we took their computer. Yeah, maybe like it set off um, some sort of all like system shutdown where you know everything just like restarts all over. Chad, I just noticed this little thing here. Mm. So I'm gonna show you guys. Right here, there's a little sticker on it. That's exactly where the webcam is on your laptop. They probably didn't want people spying on them, so they put a sticker over it. V, what's that noise? It's outside. It's those helicopters again. Oh. You hear that? Yeah, that's so loud. Are they following us here? Where is it? I hear right them. There, up there, up there. I can't see it. It's too cloudy, too foggy. Have they been following us? Did they put a tracking device inside the laptop? I don't, we better go investigate that laptop some more. Try to yeah. hack into it. I don't know. Just being inside this home, it it just doesn't feel right in, anymore. Yeah, in the last video, a ton of you guys left comments. We're gonna show some of them right here. That you were saying that you saw the hacker in our house. I don't feel secure or safe. Since I can't get into this computer, I'm gonna go get, go get my computer. I want to review some of that footage you guys were talking about. All right, so here's my computer. Let me go on to the video. All right, so here's the spot you guys were talking about in the last- Whoa, look at that! Right there, who is that? Somebody with dark hair wearing the hacker mask right there. You look like you oh. have dark hair too. Yeah, this is in black and white. Yeah. So I can't tell if the hacker actually has dark hair or Or he blonde. might have blonde hair. Yeah. But this looks like he was physically in our house. Oh, he definitely was. Look, he's peeking through this doorway right behind you. Neither of us saw him, but thanks to you ninjas leaving comments on the last video. And you guys are leaving me like timestamp, telling me exactly where to look. That has been super, super helpful. Good looking out, you guys. Is he still in our house right now? He might still be in here because now that we've seen this footage that he's been sneaking around, we'd never spotted him before. We better go investigate the whole rest of this house right now. Let's go to the weapons room first, just in case he is in the house. All right. Okay, he's not in here. Here's where we store all of our weapons. Hopefully the hacker did not take any of our weapons. Okay, I think I'm just gonna pick a bow staff because I feel most comfortable with that. Let's see what you pick, which one? All right, so I'm gonna pick this one, bow staff. I'm pretty comfortable with this. And it's taller than me almost. How about you? I'm gonna pick the hook because I'm a pirate today. Okay, okay, I think we should go to that room that we, where we saw him. Okay, so we're gonna go down this hallway and we're gonna follow exactly what you guys told us to do. Yeah, so Chad was Right here in this corner. You can I was just like this. And then I was right here. And that's where we saw him. Let's go. Okay, ready? See anything in there, V? This room is pretty plain. It's pretty small. There's just only a couple desks in there, and that's it. It's definitely not in there. We know he was for sure in the house. Maybe he left some things behind or some clues. You gotta keep an eye out for clues. Huh. You guys are actually getting kind of hungry. I stress eat. Flaming Hot Cheetos is always my choice. I didn't know you even liked skinny popcorn. Skinny popcorn? What is that? You, wait, this isn't yours? No, I thought it was yours. No, it's sitting right here on the counter. I, I didn't buy it. I've never seen that thing in my life. Who left this here on our counter? And it's totally eaten. It's like pretty much all gone. Chad, is That's, that yours? I mean, is, I know no, you're trying to lose weight and stuff. The, no, it's not mine. That makes me very suspicious because if you didn't buy this and I didn't buy this, who left this here on our counter? Have we had anybody over right, recently? You think the hacker left this here, Chad? Maybe, because I'm sure it's not either of ours. Oh, yeah, let's see if there's any fingerprints or anything on it. Okay. This. Is there anything else around here that's not yours, V? Um, how about these shades? Are these shades yours? Yeah, those are mine. This is mine. Okay. I think these, are these yours? Yeah, funny V, I don't wear those. I'm just kidding, they're mine. <laughs> Here's a bunch of fan mail from you ninjas. Thanks for all the fan mail, we appreciate it. We read all of it. We don't get to respond to all of it, but we do read all of it. Is this yours? Yes. What about this? That's not mine. It's not mine. Is this a light bulb? Light bulb drink, yeah. I've never bought one of these before. Oh, you know, I kind of regret touching it now, but I only touched it from up here because glass is really good for collecting fingerprints. Maybe we can find a fingerprint on it. I have the exact tool for that. All right, guys, I got the flashlight. Okay, so I'm using this black light here to 
see if we can find any fingerprints that the hacker might have left behind. Well, I've touched the bottle up at the top area here, so there might be some fingerprints near the top. Okay. Those will be mine. Yeah, so there's like a light fingerprint right there. So that's probably yours, right, Chad? Yeah, I touched it at the top like oh, that. Oh, yeah. there's another one. That's probably mine. So if there's any fingerprints down lower, then those would not be mine because I did not touch it down low here. I'm just rotating it and going down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa! That's definitely not my fingerprint. It's actually way too small for my finger. And, I and that's bigger than my finger, definitely. I did not touch it down that low, so that might be the hacker's fingerprint. Let's compare it with your fingers, Chad, to see if that's not yours. Yeah. Oh yeah, your finger is way much, bigger much than bigger that. Much bigger than that. So to transfer the fingerprint from the glass onto another surface, I'm gonna use tape. So I'm going to place tape over the fingerprint. Press it real hard to get the fingerprint to transfer to the tape, and then peel it. All right, you guys can see the fingerprint on the tape. That's really cool. Oh, Chad's back with a piece of paper. Yep. Let's transfer it on here. So I just pressed it. I'm gonna keep that fingerprint for later purposes because um, we need to compare it to something else. I just compared it to myself and to Chad and it doesn't match any of ours. So we have to keep collecting more fingerprints. Eventually we can get a match. So that's two things that are in our house that is neither of ours that we think the hacker left here. Definitely wanna save both of these for evidence so we can figure out who this hacker is. How did he get into our house? I remember a bunch of these guys leaving comments that they had seen something else weird on our last video with the hacker. Maybe we should go check that out. So you guys said that when I was in the living room and I was walking out to the kitchen, there was something creepy that happened on the big TV. So I didn't I didn't see it, but let's see what you guys saw. So you're walking away from the TV. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Okay. Oh! What was the hack? That is so creepy. The hacker's on the TV screen. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, I think I saw something. Just wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Pause. I recognize this door, Chad. What is it? Oh my gosh, follow me. It's right here. Is it this door? This pattern here. It's like very unique, and I feel like it's right here. See? You're right. <gasps> what is that? You guys, you guys hear that? I'm so scared. Is he typing on a computer? Or it sounds like a typewriter. It does. Okay. This is in our house. We Guys, give us a thumbs up if you want us to open up this door. I don't know if we should though. Okay, I think we should go in. I'm gonna go get the ninja weapon. Good so idea. we can get be ready. Good idea. Okay, Chad. Uh, bow staff. Yes. So I'm gonna open the door and you I'm have gonna that, attack him. Have that bow staff ready. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! 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 What is that? Oh! 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 Ah, I gave that thing a kick bump. You did. Oh wait a second. I I recognize this. Do you recognize this? Yeah. We did we, we did we put these together. We did put, we? Yeah, we put these together ourselves. This is like a this is a robot. That's a you control this robot. You can program this robot actually. I remember that you have to download the app on your phone to control this. You don't have your phone on you. No, I don't. I have my phone right here, but nothing. Who is controlling, controlling this? Oh, turn it off. Turn we, it off. We need to turn this off right away. There's a little red button right in here. I'm gonna turn this thing off so this hacker can't be spying on us with this robot anymore. There we go. Now okay. it's off. Okay, so is it still moving? Let's see. I think okay. I think it's off. I think it's off. Okay, all right. This just has became the new evidence. I'm gonna dust this for fingerprints too, and then see if there's a camera on here. All right, Chad, let's look for some fingerprint here. Yeah, let's see what's on here. All right, let's see. Looking for right. fingerprints yeah. here. Whoa! Lights just went out again. This is the second time that the lights have gone out on us while we're like right in the middle of trying to discover something. I know. Alexa, turn the lights on. Oh good, the lights are back on. I feel like every single time we're about to discover a new clue, new information about the hacker, something crazy or creepy yeah. always starts happening. It's like he's trying to distract us and make us forget what we were looking at. Like we're under surveillance for like 24 hours. Speaking of being under surveillance, remember when we were using the laptop computer and he was spying on us through the little camera? I wonder if he's still doing that. Maybe we should try to lure him here oh. and we can trap him. Yeah, let's do that. Because I think the last time you guys also let me know in the comments that when we ordered the pizza, they think that that's how the hacker that's tracked right. us. He was listening to you order the pizza. And then that's how he found out where we lived. And he showed up himself 
to deliver the pizza. Oh so let's order another pizza with the laptop open. Maybe he'll try to show up again and we can trap him. I'm gonna remove this sticker off here. <gasps> it's recording. Okay. All right, let's order pizza. Are you hungry, Chad? Yes, pizza sounds great. Okay, uh, let's, what size do you want? Medium. Hi, yeah, um, this is V Quaint. I would like to order a medium pizza. Meat lovers. With, with pineapple. With pineapple and add some mushrooms. I closed the laptop right before you gave the credit card number. The hacker knows that we ordered pizza now, so I'm hoping that the hacker is the one who delivers the pizza. Yeah. Because then we can trap him. Yeah, because last time he did. Yeah. And this time we'll be ready for him. All right, let's go wait. Let's go get ready and let's wait for the pizza to arrive. Let's like set up a trap ready for him. Yeah. And then we can capture him. Let's do it. He's, okay. He's on his way. Let's go. Okay. We are at the front door. I've got my hook ready to go. Yeah. Got my Full staff here, ready to go. Once that hacker gets here, they are not gonna know that we're ready for them. Okay, that's the doorbell. V, look through the peephole and see if it's the hacker. Oh, it looks like a girl. Can you see her? Yeah, you're right, it's a girl. Yeah. D and she's carrying the pizza? So it's a pizza girl? So you think it's not the hacker? I'm not sure. We, we just gotta be prepared, Chad. Right, I'll go hide the camera, I'll not let them know holding the camera. Okay. Did hey. you guys order a pizza? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, what pizza place do you work at? Uh, Domino's. Oh, what kind? Ordered from? Oh. What kind of pizza is it? Just wondering if you guys got the right one. Meat lovers with pineapple. Do you happen to know um, how to hack things on a computer? <laughs> um, I'm just here to deliver your pizza. Does anybody work with you who wears like NBA gear and a white mask? I really don't know what you're talking about. Just uh, take the pizza. Okay. You don't need a pan. All right. Oh. Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> All right. See you later. Uh, I don't think that was the hacker. Ew. I think that was a real pizza delivery person. Yeah, and she's a girl, and we got a free pizza out of it. I guess we asked her too many questions, and yeah. she, got, she got scared off. I feel kind of bad now. We should probably give her a tip or something, but... Did the hacker know we were trying to lure him here or something? I don't know. Whoa, V, this monitor just turned on right here. What Whoa. the... Whoa! That's us, Chad! Why are That's we, our house! Why are we on there? V, someone is definitely spying on us! All right, so we've already investigated this living room pretty well, but we never did use a metal detector here, so how this works is you hover this over surface areas like this, and if it finds anything of metal, it'll start beeping. So if there's any like cameras or microphones in here, this should be able to find it. So I'm gonna just, is there anything in here? Oh, it's, okay, so, the, okay, so, so that, that's metal. So that's not a camera or whatever, but. Yeah, so it means that this is working properly. Okay, so I'll just keep investigating. So looking for hidden cameras, hidden microphones, or the sort. There's gotta be a way that the hacker has been spying on us because he knew we ordered a pizza. He was on our TV, spying on us through our TV. We trashed that, wait a minute. I just heard something. Right here. There's something right here, guys. All right, let's okay. check Let's check underneath this rug and see what's underneath there. Maybe he's got a microphone under there. Here we go, what's under here? Okay. Was oh, it right wait. here? Wait, look at this floorboard. It's a different color. See this floorboard? It doesn't match all the rest of the colors. Yeah, this is all like light, like birch color, and yeah. all this is, is like tan. This one's dark. I feel like he must have lifted up one of the original boards and replaced it with this fake board. So maybe underneath this piece of wood, he put a microphone or a camera or something underneath here. Are we are we going crazy, Chad? I mean, underneath the baseboard of our floors? I don't think so because I mean, these guys saw the hacker on our TV, which we trashed and threw away. But even since then, I feel like he's been spying on us. He's been knowing what we're up to. There's got to be some way he's he's tracking us. <laughs> Yeah. I need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to pry this board open. Okay, sure, I'll go get it. While V's going to get that, let's keep exploring a little bit more to make sure we're not missing out on any other cameras. If you guys missed it in V's video, V and I found this glass bottle here and this bag. Neither of them are ours. We found fingerprints that were not ours on both of these. So we got copies of those onto tape. We're gonna save those for later and hopefully figure out whose fingerprints those were. I think they were the hacker's fingerprints. Chad, I got the hammer here and okay. the flathead screwdriver. Okay. I'm ready to to open up some boards if you guys gave this video a thumbs up. All right, I think they did. Let's go open up some floorboards. All right, ninjas, I've got the flathead screwdriver and the hammer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, put it right down in between here, and then I'm gonna hammer the top of the screwdriver really hard like right this, and I'm gonna pry this wood right off of there. So it's, it's gonna take me a few minutes here, guys. Okay, well, while you're doing that, I think I'm gonna continue metal detecting the rest of the house, I think, just to make right. sure that we're safe. Cool, all right, cool. I'll get working on this floor here. 
Yeah, so I've I've been um, metal detecting all of our, our living room area and then all the hallways. I'm gonna go into Chad's office or his like ninja weapon room and see if anything's in here. Oh, you know what? There's just a ton of metal in here because like all his weapons here. Yeah, pretty much everything is beeping. Yeah, everything. You guys are... The metal detector is going crazy in here because there's a ton of weapons and it's all made out of metal. Oh. Whoa. That's weird. This poster board, there's no metal in it, but it, it's made out of, you know, paper and glass. I wonder why it's, it beeped there. That's really weird. Okay, let me put this down. Yeah, this poster is already opened. Can you guys kind of see that? Like someone must have been messing around with this. I'm going to take this off. Huh. Doesn't seem like anything. Let me test it again. Yeah, it was going off right here, but not, it's not going off right now. Is it the poster itself? It is. It's actually in the poster, I think. <gasps> you guys, that's a metal triangle. I can't even say that word out loud anymore. Do you think there's a clue? Or like, do you think he's spying on us with this poster somehow? Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna keep this and see if, um, if I can get some fingerprints off of this to see if it matches all the other things. I'm gonna actually show Chad this, see what he thinks. Chad! Chad, yeah. you won't believe what I found what? on this poster on your yeah, on your office. That was in my office in the weapons room. Yeah, like What's behind it, it uh -huh. there was a triangle. There was? Yeah. In my weapons room is a triangle? No, on this poster board there was a triangle. Like there was a triangle right here. So I'm I'm thinking like, are they spying us through this poster or crazy? Well you know what? Check this out. I've almost got this floorboard open right here. Okay, I'm getting the board open here. See this? I'm, it's coming pretty far up. Ooh, look at this. It's coming up. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Whoa, what is that? Look at that. Underneath the- Don't touch it. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. Whoa, this. It's, it's, it's another freaking triangle. Whoa. Whoa. Give me that. <laughs> Why are you touching it? I ain't scared of no triangle. <laughs> what is this? It's, it's uh, definitely some sort of plastic device. It's got a little hole on it here. There's something in it. Okay, you're contaminating this whole entire triangle. Oops. I was hoping to get you're, the fingerprint out uh, of it. My bad. But now it's just all chat. <laughs> my fingerprints are all over it now. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. But I was, I really want to see, you know what this is. It looks like it might be magnetic or something because the metal detector was making it go off. So there's definitely some metal in here. Okay. Is this like a, maybe like a tracking device or a tracking beacon? Okay. Why would this be underneath our floorboards? We can open this to find out exactly what's in here. Okay. Oh, you got it. I got it because I am a true spy. I didn't even need tools for you this. Used your I, I used my fingernails. There's wow. a little crack on that. Okay, so this is a battery right here. So let's see what's on the other side of it. Whoa! This Whoa. is it's like a miniature computer chip motherboard. Wow. This is definitely a tracking device. Definitely. Right here. There's this even is a little a, button on it right there. Yeah, right here, like in the motherboard, there's a little button right here that you can press. It's probably to activate it or to reset it. You know, huh. what, you know what I bet we can do? We should reverse engineer this tracking device because who's ever tracking us with this device, they have another device on the other end where they're watching us from this. So if we can hack into this, we can see where they are with their other device. Yeah, I wonder how many of these are in our house. Oh my gosh. Let's go get on the computer and see if we can reverse engineer this. So V, before I actually hack into this or I try to hack into it, I've got an idea because since the hacker is probably tracking us with this device, I'm gonna see if I can lure him here. Here? To our house? Yeah, watch this. Uh, hey V, I'm gonna go outside and go swimming by the swimming pool. You wanna come with? No thanks, I'm gonna stay inside. Okay, I'm gonna go out there right now. Now we'll see if the hacker we're gonna keep an eye out for him out by the swimming pool and see if he's gonna try to spy on me or do something to me while I'm out by the pool. But he doesn't know that I know that he's watching. Let's go outside. Okay guys, I'm out by the swimming pool right now. Take a peek right down there. I'm gonna be hiding beneath this balcony. And I think the hacker is gonna to come towards the pool since he's probably just listening to me on that chip. So we are gonna keep an eye out for him while hiding beneath this banister right here. If you guys see the hacker, 
let me know in the comments down below just taking a close look here let me know if you guys see anything I don't think he'd be in the water because he'd be really easy to spot in the water nowhere to hide in there but these bushes might be a good place to hide hmm I'm not seeing him I think we might have to wait for a minute so it depends on how far away the hacker lives from here he might be on his way here right now I don't know but I'm gonna be hiding out waiting for him so I'll just be patient all right so guys I'm in a new spot right now I still haven't spotted the hacker yet but I'm over here I'm still hiding behind this a banister all right so keep your eyes peeled guys gotta see if we can find I know the hacker is going to be coming here soon. Wait a second. I think I see. That's totally the hacker. The hacker's... He just stood up. Oh my gosh, guys. That is totally the hacker. That's the same hacker that delivered the pizza. Okay, guys. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to sneak up on him. I'm going to jump over this balcony and run over at the hacker and finally put a stop to this. All right. You guys ready for me to jump over? Here we go. Three, two, one. Jump! Hey, hacker! You get back here! Come here, hacker! Come on! What? What? Wait, what? 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 What the? Dude, where Where did the hacker... How... Wow, the hacker must have jumped right over this fence. This fence is huge, though. How the heck did the hacker... Is the hacker like a parkour person or something? I have no idea. I, I can't even jump over. Look how tall this fence is, guys. I have no idea where the hacker went. I just saw the hacker run right around this corner, right here come this way and it's totally caged in here i have no idea where they went okay i'm gonna go back and check out where the hacker was wait a second wait what is this wait a second this is wait this is one of the fan mails that you guys sent me the hacker was trying to steal one of my fan mails Let's see what's in here wait a second wait, this is a map i'll have to figure out where this leads to what else is in here what is this? A mural. Wait, a, a painting? I, I, wait, I recognize this. I remember seeing this when I was a little kid. I remember a, a big, huge watermelon. I remember this girl eating an apple. These two getting some more fruits. I think I know exactly where this is and where this map leads. All right, guys, I am gonna head over there right now. I think I know where this map leads, and I've seen this picture before. I think, I think this was the school that I used to go to, if my memory serves me correctly. So I'm gonna go there right now. I think the hacker might be trying to go to my old school. I have found that backdrop. Check it out, here's that watermelon, and this girl eating the apple, and this boy here. So this is definitely the place. I knew I had seen this before, so I must have been brought here for some reason. Let's go explore and try to find some clues here. All right, I haven't found any clues yet on this place. Um, but wait a second, check this out guys. There is a school bus right down that way. If you remember from one of the previous videos, we found a picture of a school bus inside the hacker drone. Let's make our way to that school bus. All right, we're getting close to the school. Wait, whoa, check this out guys. A bunch of triangles here, huh? Maybe this is a clue, something to do with various colors. We'll have to remember these colors. All right, let's keep walking towards that bus. Guys, guys, there's the gates right over here, right past these gates and over to the right there is the bus. So let's go, wait, 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 wait a second. There's a triangle on the ground right here. Check this out. It says, watch your step. And then there's a, a big triangle here. So let's, uh, let me see. Oh, interesting. So there's a 60 in this corner and then there's a 60 up in this corner. But then in this corner of the triangle is a question mark. And guys, I'm just noticing right now there's a hopscotch game right here with all these numbers in it. It's really weird. I've never actually played hopscotch with numbers already in it like this. Do I have to figure out what this final angle of the triangle is? Is, is there somebody watching me? And they're waiting to see if I figure out what the answer of this triangle is? I think I can figure this out, guys, because if you total up all the angles of a triangle, there's three angles, obviously, one, two, three. When you total them up, they should equal 180. So if this one is 60, and then this one is 60, that means that's 120. So this question mark here, I think I know what the answer is, but I wanna see how many of you ninjas know what it is. So leave a comment down below with what number you think this one is to get to 180. So this question mark, I think the answer is 60. And I'm noticing that there's a number 60 right here. So since the missing angle on the triangle was 60 and it said, watch your step, I feel like that's a clue that I have to run and jump 
and land on 60. Maybe that's what the hacker wants me to do, I don't know. That's a really far jump. Look how far this is, guys. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Running jump. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I made it! I got to the 60, guys, but actually, I actually jumped too far. I went past the 60, so I don't know what that means. Does that mean I, that wasn't what I was supposed to do? Is the hacker mad now? Did I scoop this whole thing? So I don't know if I passed the test or if I failed the test. All right, we're getting really close to the school bus, guys. I don't know if I should go up to it or not. Um, I did see the picture of it in the drone, so it's kind of scary. So I didn't bring any ninja weapons with me in my backpack. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's go over close to the bus. We'll be very careful. We'll sneak like ninjas so nobody hears us. We made it to the bus. I don't think anybody saw us. I wonder if anybody's in there. Wait, I f what's this? Guys, it's Papa Jay calling me. He hardly ever calls me. This must be important. What's up, Papa Jake? Chad? Chad, is that you? Can you hear me? Look, it's Papa Jake. I needed to warn you about what's going on. In your last video, I noticed in the drone footage there was a bus. Oh, wait, yeah, you, you saw the picture of that bus in my last video? Yeah, it was, that picture of the bus was on the drone. Wasn't that weird? I think I know what that bus is. It's related to the hacker. What we found out is that on the list of paper, he had your name listed as a target. Wait. Seriously? Not only that, he had a bunch of other YouTubers. At the bottom of it, we found a confirmation number. I don't know what that confirmation number was for, but I think it could be related to them stealing buses. Someone's been stealing a bunch of buses? I'm actually at a bus right now. So this, you're saying this might be a stolen bus? Wow, I'm really glad you called because I was just about to try to get into this bus. I'm gonna be extra careful now getting in here now that I know this might be a stolen bus and it might be affiliated with the hackers. Wait, you're going in the bus? Just stay safe, okay? Thanks, Papa Jake. All right, talk to you soon. I don't know, let's see if we can peek in through the windows. You ready? All right, let's see. Let me know if you guys can see anything. Take a look right now. Leave a comment below if you see anything. It's really dark and tinted, so I can't really see anything. I didn't see anything in there, and I see some of you guys leaving comments that you think you saw something, but we don't really know what that is. So let's see if we can go into the door of the bus. Here we go, Shh, let's be quiet. We're at the door, guys. I'm gonna go in really fast because if anybody's in there, I wanna catch them by surprise. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, there's a lock up here. Check this out. The door's locked. I can't get in there. I'm gonna have to try to find an alternative way in. Wait, did you, you guys hear that? I just, I just heard somebody walking around inside. Did you guys hear someone walking around? Sounds like somebody's in there. I don't know who it is. Why would there be somebody inside the school bus all by themselves? Has someone been trying to lure me here? Let's see if we can sneak around to the other side and peek in. Maybe we'll see who's in there. What's really cool with this bus, guys, is there's this mirror right here. And you can probably see me waving in the mirror. And I can see on the other side of the bus here. It's a really good tool, kind of like a spy, checking on around the other end of the bus. Let me know if you guys see anything at all. I got a really small camera screen in front of me, so it's kind of hard to see. I'm not seeing anything, so I'm gonna sneak around to that other side of the bus. All right, I'm gonna check and see if there's a bus driver inside, right by the driver's seat up here. Let's be really careful to peek in in case there is. All right, can you guys see the driver's seat? I can see the steering wheel and the seat. All right, so there's no bus driver in here. Who was walking around if it wasn't the bus driver? All right, let's go this way. There's an emergency exit right here. Let's see if I can get into it. <clears throat> the emergency exit is locked as well. All right, let's keep walking around. Keep an eye out for anything crazy, anything weird. Whoa! Guys, look! The stop sign just popped out. Right in front of me, it tried to hit me right in the face. Okay, someone must be watching us. How did they know that I was? Whoa. Okay guys, yeah, I'm freaked out. Someone is definitely watching us. How would they know to open this stop sign right when I'm here? It's like they tried to hit me with it, you know? Let's come over here and let's... Whoa! All right, let's go guys. Okay, I think I got a plan. I think we need to get up on top of the bus. Maybe the person who's in the bus won't be able to see us up there. He clearly just saw us coming around the other side of the bus. He must be watching us because he opened the stop sign on us, tried to hit me. So yeah, let's go up. Oh guys, I've always wondered what was in these drawers. Let's see if we can get in here. 
Okay, this one seems to be locked. There's another one right up here though. Check this out. Hopefully this one's unlocked. Oh. This one's unlocked. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, that's heavy. Whoa, what's in here guys? A step ladder. This might come in handy a little bit later. Ooh, and a broom. You know what a broom handle is good for? You can take the head off a broom. And now you have a nice bolt staff. Yeah, this is a good weapon. In case the hacker tries to jump out at me, I now have a good bow staff. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna close this back up, guys. I don't wanna draw attention to myself that I left that open, so I wanna make it look like I'm not even here. A lot of times I know there's emergency exits on top of the roof, so let's see, there might be an emergency exit on the top that which will allow me to get into the bus. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, the ceiling's really high up. Here we go, guys. All right, here is the roof of the bus, guys. It's actually quite higher than I thought. There's no way I can even get up here, but I do see a latch over there, and there's another latch right here. If this step ladder was a little bit higher, I'd be able to get in here, but uh, there's no way I can get up here. I'm gonna climb back down here. All right, so that didn't work. I'm gonna keep an eye out for a taller step ladder. Okay, guys, I've tried almost everything I can think of. What I'm gonna do is I need some ninja weapons. I think I'm gonna have to break into the bus with some ninja weapons, so I'm gonna call V and ask her to bring me some ninja weapons. V, okay, I'm gonna text you my address right now, but I need you to bring me some ninja weapons. I'm gonna try to break into a school bus. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in the school bus. They're spying on me. I've heard them walking around. They opened a stop sign on me. It almost hit me in the face. I think it might be the hacker who's in the school bus. I think they've been giving me clues and leading me here. It's very suspicious, so I definitely need some ninja weapons. Uh, if you can get here as soon as possible. Yeah, okay, great. That's awesome, thank you. All right, I'll see you here in a little bit. I'll text you my address. All right, so I just sent her my address. There's another hatch right over here. Check this out. TCP 36886B, USDOT. I don't know, maybe this is gonna be a combination lock for something later on. A lot of times these numbers end up being combination locks for something. So I try to like keep a memory of some of these numbers because they might come in handy in future videos. Let's see if this is locked. Oh, it's not, nice. Uh, whoa, okay, I know what these are. These are like car batteries. So this bus has two batteries. I shouldn't touch them, might be dangerous. But there's one thing of interest I wanna point out. It says K4 right here, see that? That might mean something. I'm gonna remember that, K4. That could be a clue, possibly. You know, I've, I've ridden a school bus hundreds of times. I always wondered what was in these, but I never had the chance to look, and now I finally do. Whoa, whoa, look what's in here. This must be the bus engine. Check it out. That is a huge engine. It looks like it's in good condition, so I think this bus is still an active and running bus. Nothing I wanna do in there. I'm gonna close that up. I didn't see any clues or anything. If you guys saw anything strange, let me know. Yeah. Whoa, dang, okay, I can get in here. Whoa, bees! you freaked me out a little bit there. Oh my gosh. Really? I never scare anyone. I'm usually the one that gets scared. I just saw like someone carrying a sword out of the corner of my eye. Glad oh. it's you though. Yeah, I got your sword here. All right, so yeah, I heard some commotion inside this bus. It kind of freaked me out. I wanted you to bring my sword because I didn't have any ninja weapons on me. B, in this window right here of this bus. Guys, check this out. There's like some hair. Oh, <gasps> it just moved. There's somebody sleeping right here or, or sitting here. It actually looks like the hair of the hacker. Do you remember the pizza man? Yeah, they have like dark hair and a lot of you guys told us that he has dark, poofy hair. Yeah. That looks just exactly like it. Yeah. What should we do? Should we, what if we, what if we, we knock on it? Let's knock on it and then kind of run and hide, okay? Okay. All right, here we, here we go. <laughs> B, B, come here, come here, come here. Oh my God, there's somebody. There's someone in the bus yelling. You hear that? They're, they're yelling for help. Let's, let's. Help me, help! Help me! Somebody! Wait! Hey, there's people out here! There's, there's someone stuck inside yelling for help. Let me get my sword out. There's somebody! Come on! Help me! Oh, got it, got it. Who's in there? Okay, I put my sword away. Hello? Okay, who's in there? Hello? Who, who's there? Hello? Wait, Who is it? Wait, it's Wait Marlon! Marlon! 
What are you? Wait, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing in here? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been locked in here for like 24 hours. Wait, this this hours? this yeah. is this is really suspicious. Wait, wait, wait! I just wait. I got I got a text right now. It says, "Watch your step." What? Wait, 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 wait! No! The door just closed. No! 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 no, no. Let us out! Watch your step. What is that? Who, who who was the text from? It just says unknown. It's like what what does that mean? Unknown. I don't know. Cause we've been getting like a lot of weird texts and stuff too. What? All right, guys. Chad and I have been trapped on this bus for so long, and Marlon actually was trapped in here with us for a very long time too. But now he got guys, out. Guys, wait. What? Marlon, no, we I need your help to let it, to get us out of here. Yeah. yeah. Marlon just used his fingerprint to get out of here. So I think if I maybe try to use my fingerprint, we can get out using our fingerprints V, right? What you do is you take a pencil and you make this big. Dark line. Then I'm gonna put my finger right on it like this. So I got a bunch of it on my finger here. To transfer the fingerprint, we use tape. Make sure you firmly press against it. So you can see it right on there. Once we put the fingerprint on the paper, for Marlon, the, the door opened right up. Let's see if this works. Come on, door, here we go. It worked, it worked, it worked. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, so I get out. Sorry, come on. Hey, come on, 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 yeah, 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 try use your fingerprint yeah, thing. Yeah, use your fingerprint do, do it. We just did. Wait, I'm gonna try, try it now. I'm gonna use my thumb. Keep here, transfer carefully. Here it goes. Hopefully once I put my tape fingerprint on here, the door will open. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> did it open? Did it open? No! It, did, it, didn't it didn't work! work. It didn't work? Oh. Yeah. Okay, oh. alright. Okay. You gotta help me out. So I'm, I'm yeah. stuck here by myself now. I don't know what to do. We're gonna go and try to get some of your spy gear V and bring that back to you and see if that'll help you yeah, get out of here, like, okay? Open the door with that. We'll be right back. Be right back. Alright, we'll see you Sorry. back. Alright, I'm gonna double check to make sure that we didn't miss any clues or like maybe any like weapons or any gear that I can try and get out and crack that door open. I haven't even looked underneath the seats yet. This side. Ah, oh, I'm trying to reach like way back there. Nothing. I want to try underneath like the seats. Can't feel anything, you guys. Can't see anything there. Oh my, I thought I... Did I find something? I thought I felt something. Maybe it's just a seat belt though. Cause you know, all these seat belts here are just hanging all over the place. Okay, you guys, like my hands are super dirty and my knees hurt really badly. Look, I got a bruise already. I'm not doing this anymore. I haven't even tried this exit door here. Emergency exit to open, pull up handle, push door out. Oh. Oh. Almost. Hopefully Chad comes back soon with like a ninja weapon or something and maybe we can pry this open. Okay guys, doesn't seem like there's any clues back here. Let's go back all the way up to the front of the bus and just keep an eye out for me, okay? Oh wait, you know what? All the seats have numbers. And I think when Marlon and Chad were in here with me, something weird was happening at seat number 13. So I'm gonna really thoroughly check that seat out. Just wanna see if there's anything on the seat belt. Anything in between the seats. Like you can find like quarters. Wait, let me see, I think I found something. Oh. Oh, it's just a tag. All right, let's see. Nothing here. Nothing in between the windows, because sometimes things can get stuck here. Alright. Number 13. Wait a minute. Look at this. There's a little triangle note. It's kind of stuck. Ah! Ah! Wait. What was that noise? I think it came from the speakers. Okay, that was really weird. I heard something. Did you guys hear anything? It was like really staticky. Am I going crazy? I mean, is it too hot in here? I'm just like freaking out and I'm just hearing things. Let me know in the comments. Oh, it says objects are closer than they appear. Gosh, that sounds really familiar. I feel like I've read this somewhere. Do you guys know where this exact phrase is appeared? You know, let me know in the comments below where you have seen this exact phrase. But I can't think of where I see it. I'm gonna keep this in mind and let's, let's see what else we can find. Let's see. Oh. Look at this walkie-talkie. Maybe I can call for help. Interior, if I switch over to the right here, exterior, maybe I can yell to outside to see if I can get help. 
Hello, anybody out there? This is V Quaint. I'm stuck in a yellow school bus. I'm waiting for someone to come and help me. I'm still stuck in here. Hopefully someone heard me and they come and rescue me. Cause I'm not sure how long Chad and Marlon's gonna take. This looks like one of those cassette players. That's interesting because we've been getting cassette messages from the hacker. It must be the same hacker. That's part of this. <laughs> Let's see what else. I'm just gonna like try all the buttons. Okay, okay well. that didn't do anything. Okay, push off. Okay. All right, fan. <gasps> oh, <gasps> this fan works. You guys, it's so hot in here. Oh. Uh, you guys, give this video a thumbs up right now if you fan yourself this way. Check transmitter, nothing. Okay, R, nothing's happening. N, D, none of these buttons. Absolutely nothing, it's nothing but the fan. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna check for the comments right now to see what you guys are suggesting. All right, in the comments, I'm seeing a lot of you guys saying objects are closer than they appear are usually on mirrors. Yeah, they're usually on like mirrors in a car, in a truck. All right, so nothing on this mirror. I checked all over the back. Maybe it's one of the mirrors outside of the window. All right, so in case any of you guys are wondering why I'm not jumping out of this window. Yeah, because Chad and I tried in Marlon's video to jump out because that was like the first thing that we did. But once we tried doing that, Marlon got a text and the hacker said that you can't do that or else he'll delete one of our channels. So I don't want to risk that. But let's check these mirrors out here. So I don't see anything here. I'm feeling all over the back. There's nothing. Nothing here too. Oh, wait a minute. All right, this looks like another note. It like rolls into like a scroll. Air, era? Why is there a question mark right here? Okay, you guys, this does not look like English at all. Question mark is even backwards. So you guys should let me know in the comments what language is this. Let me know right now because I need to figure this out. You know what? Maybe this is not a different language at all because in Marlin's video, we found a clue and it was written backwards. And since I found this near a mirror, maybe this note is backwards also. How many degrees are in a triangle? Wow, this hacker is getting pretty complicated now. He's like doing math problems now. How many degrees are in a triangle? Okay, if you guys know the answer to this, let me know in the comments down below because you guys are great at solving clues, solving puzzles, and especially helping me out. Okay, while I'm waiting for you guys' help, I'm gonna try and figure this out on my own. All right, I'm gonna draw a couple triangles. There's triangles that look like this, like super skinny. There's like a lot of different types of triangles. How do I know which angles it's talking about? Because like each angle is different. There's like the, like there's the 90 degree angle, which is like an L, you know, it's like that. I know that's 90, but like if I connect it, then these two angles will be 45. Wait a minute, how do I just know that? How do I know that these are 45? Oh. Totally! Okay, like, I remember, like, in geometry class, all angles of any triangle, it doesn't matter the size of it, it's always going to equal 180 degrees. That's, like, really weird how, like, that just happened. It's, it's almost like auto memory, like, what I learned, like, from way back. I mean, like, five years ago. So, this is 90 degrees, plus 45, plus 45, that's 180. Let me check, let me check in the comments, let's see. Yeah, a bunch of you guys are also commenting 180, so I think that's definitely the answer. What the heck does that mean? 180. Do you see 180 anywhere on this bus? I mean, I see 26. Wait, 18. Does it just mean 18? Any more notes up here? No. Any clues on the seats? Just some peanut butter sandwich crackers. I might need this if I'm stuck in here for like 24 hours. So I'll keep that. So maybe it's not 18. Maybe it's one and eight and zero. Eight. Let me check for more clues. There's nothing up here. And right here. Here's a pen. Oh, I think I... Is this something? I can't tell. I think I, I, I feel something. Oh, it was so loud, you guys. What is going on here? I think the hacker is definitely watching us or listening to us right now because I 
feel like every time I come close to finding the clue or finding or solving something, something weird and creepy happen. Okay, I just want to mention that this note was also folded in a triangle. Alright, this note here also has a triangle. This angle here is 89 degrees. Okay, so that means one angle is 89. Maybe I can find another clue on number one. Ah, I think that's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's look at number one here. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any clue in between the seats. In here. Over here. It's another triangle. This better be another angle. It is! It's another angle. It says 65 degrees. Okay, the other one was 89. I can definitely solve what the third one's. I don't know if you know, not only am I a spy ninja, but I'm also a math ninja. So you can find the area of the triangle because I already know it's 180. 180 is the total triangle. So I'm gonna subtract this. And it's 89 plus 65 equals. All right, you guys, let me know if you guys know what 89 plus 65 is. I need your help. Okay, so 89 plus 65 is 154. 180 minus 154 equals 26. 26. What does that mean? Is that another seat number? 26. Let me look for another triangle. I mean, another triangle. Okay. Okay. Nothing. I don't find any other clue, but I do find a ton of seatbelts here. And in the last video on Marlins, I remember that when I put the seatbelts together, the door did open, so I'm gonna try that. This one, the maroon one goes together. Did that do anything? Oh, nothing, let me try another one. Black and black. Let's see. That didn't work, but we still have one more seatbelt left. Let's see if that works. It's opening, the door's opening. Oh no! The door's closed! Come on! Let me out! Let me out! What is this right here? Gosh, I was so close to running through that door. I swear I sweep the whole entire bus, but I didn't see this book before. That's so weird. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, what is this? It says, sign in sheet, Daniel, Nancy, Robert, uh, Okay, so someone just decided to cross out their name. This is all underlined DNR. 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 I feel like there has to be a clue somewhere on this bus. Comment down below if you have seen this combination of letters somewhere on this bus before and let me know. Okay, while you guys are figuring that out, I'm gonna try one more emergency exit. Okay. All right. Come on! I can't get it. I can't get it. Ah! You guys, since that didn't work, I'm gonna check the comments to see if you guys found out what that DNR stands for. All right, it looks like you guys are saying it's in the driver's seat, like the shifting of the gear or something. Let's go back up there. Shifting gear. Let's see, where, where is that? Oh, it's right here. I think, it's, I think the order was D and R. Let's see what happens. D N R. I heard something! I heard something! Oh my gosh! The cargo outside is open! It's open! I'm gonna call Chad! Chad! Okay, whatever you're doing, just stop. Come back. I got the cargo open. I think that's the way to get out, so come back here and, and help me. Here they come! Marlon! Chad, hurry, hurry, hurry! What's up? Look, look, this thing just opened, the cargo. Yeah, since I can't get out, I need yeah. you guys to let me know what's in it. Oh, there's a lever down in here. A oh lever? Gosh, there's a lever. lever. Should we yeah. try pulling it? Pull it, yes. Okay. What if it's a trick? Oh no. Yeah, what if it locks us in there? Yeah, okay, Marlon, you go in and I'll stay out. Okay. Just in case you get locked in, then uh, then I'm still free. I have to, okay. I mean, I'll do it for you guys. We'll both do just it. Just make sure you get me out. If it All right. Is. All right, we're gonna pull it, me. Okay, here okay. We go. Three, three, two, two one. one. Oh, the door oh, opened. The door's open. Oh. It's open! It's open! Oh my gosh! It's open! Come on, hurry! Oh! 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 O
okay, okay. stuck in there for so long. Oh so my long. god. Long, guys. Oh. I don't want to be stuck on the bus ever again. Oh my gosh. <laughs>